Brett, stating a little of the obvious, but just based on what has been happening with this team lately, just how badly did you guys need this one tonight? Yeah, I mean, obviously we haven't been playing our best baseball this last week, week and a half, and, um, you know, good to I think the off day yesterday came at a real good time, just kind of step away for a minute and reevaluate and, um, you know, kind of reboot, and I thought the guys uh, showed up today uh, prepared and ready and played a pretty good game, obviously. Um, we thought Monty did a good job, and, and, and there at the end, um, you know, continuing to add on runs, and some guys came through in some big spots, and uh, overall just a fun game to be a part of. When you look at this win as a whole, what leaves you most encouraged moving forward? Well, I think just as a group, up and down the lineup, we did some good things and, um, you know, did a good job of hitting the guys on base and um, moved guys up when we needed to, got guys in when we needed to. And, um, you know, just um, just like there in the eighth, Clint coming in, big, big pitch hit, leading off the eighth inning, and then obviously Miggy right behind him and just, um, you know, guys up and down the lineup um, contributing. And obviously once we turn it over to our bullpen, we feel really good about our chances. So, um, yeah, I thought, I thought our guys, um, you know, did a good job tonight, put together a lot of good at-bats, and um, hopefully we uh, build on that and, and continue. We go next to Ken Davidoff. Hey, Gardy, you've been around a long time, around this team, and you know what, it, what it's like when, when you kind of fall into a hole performance-wise. And just to see Gary, you know, climb out of that hole is, the way he has this, these past few weeks. What is that like to see? Yeah, listen, I've said for the last for the last three years, I think Gary's one of the most talented right-handed hitters in the game. And I know that, um, you know, last year obviously didn't go his way. And, and the results early on this year um, may, not, may not have been exactly what he's looking for. But he's very, very, very talented on both sides of the ball. And, you know, he's obviously a big part of um, a big part of our team. And, He's a guy that when he gets going and when he's right at the plate, he can carry your team. We've seen it before in the past, and, and I see no reason to believe that he can't continue to do that moving forward. So, um, you know, I think that, um, you know, he's a guy when he's locked in, he's able to do damage to all fields. And um, even today, um, you know, our, our early work, I thought he was really, really good. And, um, you know, when he's on time, he's uh, a very dangerous hitter. Thanks, Kurt. We'll go next to Tom Merriam. Brett, does the first game of a road trip sometimes set the tone for the entire trip? Yeah, I mean, listen, um, the way we've been playing, the way we the way we played at home, it's good to, like I said, with the off day yesterday, and then obviously, um, you know, coming on the road and, you know, just trying to almost, um, you know, turn things over and start a start over start over anew uh, with the game today. It definitely, um, you know, can can do that, can build some momentum, and uh, obviously with us. You know, scoring a few runs tonight, it's good to you know, break out a little bit and um, and feel good about the way we were swinging the bats. So we always feel good about our pitching, and um, obviously we struggle to score runs. So collectively, um, you know, and I'm right there at the top of the list. But just as a group, we all have to do better. And um, you know, I think um, you know tonight may have hopefully we look back and tonight was the start of something special.